in the region of Saluzzo in Italy, there lived a noble and gracious king named Walter. His subjects held him in high esteem, yet there was one thing that concerned him. Walter enjoyed his freedom to roam the countryside and refused to be bound by marriage. One day a delegation of the lords of the kingdom called upon him and humbly beseeched him to seek a woman whom he would wed. The king was so impressed with their petition that he agreed to marry. Concerned lest he did not mean it, they asked him to set a date and this was done. The lords even offered to find a suitable bride. To this the king demurred. He would choose the woman and would marry her if they would agree to be subservient to her forever. The lords agreed. The day of the wedding arrived and all preparations were completed. The populace was puzzled, for the king had not selected his bride. It happened, however, that nearby there lived the poorest man, Janicula. He had a beautiful and virtuous daughter, Griselda. The king often saw her as she traveled about and looked upon her form and beauty with a virtuous eye. Shortly before the wedding was to take place, Walter went to Janicula and asked for permission to marry his daughter. The old man agreed and then Walter sought out Griselda and won her consent. Walter, however, made one condition. He made Griselda promise to always obey his will and to do so cheerfully even if it caused her pain. Furthermore, she is never to balk or complain about any of his commands. Griselda ascended to these conditions and they were married. In marriage, those qualities of patience, virtue and kindness which Griselda had always possessed began to increase so that her fame spread to all the lands far and wide. People came from great distances simply to behold this paragon of virtue. Shortly afterwards, Griselda bore her husband a daughter. There was great rejoicing because now the people knew that she was not barren and would perhaps bear him a son. While the baby was still suckling at her mother's breast, the king resolved to banish any doubt about his wife's steadfastness to him. He called her to him and told her that one of his courtiers would soon call for the child. He expressed the hope that taking the child from her would in no way change her love for him. She said it would not. The king's agent arrived and took the child. Griselda did not utter one word which indicated hatred for her husband. Time passed and never in any way did Griselda show loss of love for her husband. Four years passed and Griselda bore her husband a son and the people were happy that an heir to the throne had been born. When the son was two years old, Walter again decided to test his wife's patience and fidelity. He went to her and told her that she must give up her son. Again, she took the news patiently and said that if this was her husband's wish, she would abide by his decision with good grace. When Walter's daughter was 12 years old and the son 10, he decided to put Griselda to one final test. He had a papal bull forged, declaring Walter free of Griselda and giving him permission to marry another woman. Then he ordered his sister, with whom the children had been placed, to bring his daughter and son home. Plans were then set in motion for another wedding. Walter now decided to put Griselda to her greatest test. He called her before him and showed her the counterfeit papal permission and told her of his intent to marry again. 
he explained that his subjects thought Griselda of too low a birth and he must take a woman of higher birth. Griselda took the news with a sad heart, but again with great patience and humility. She said that she would abide by her husband's decision and would return to her father's house. She takes nothing with her and explains to Walter she came naked from her father's house and will return the same, but asks for permission to wear an old smock to cover her nakedness. So she returned to her father who received her with sadness and there she remained for a short time. Through it all, Griselda went patiently and in good grace about her work helping to prepare the beautiful young girl whom she did not recognize as her daughter for the wedding. But Walter could stand his cruelty no longer. He went to Griselda and confessed that the beautiful young girl and the handsome boy were their children and they had been given loving care in Bologna. He confessed that the cruel tests had been perfectly met by Griselda and that he could find no more patient and steadfast woman. They lived in bliss and when Walter died, his son succeeded to the throne. The clerk ends by saying that women should not follow so completely Griselda's example, but everyone should be constant in the face of adversity. And then addressing the wife of Bath, he says he will sing a song praising the gentle virtues of Griselda.